ఎవరు ఏమి Okay. So, going to my uh, second part of my talk, due uh, to interruption of the electricity, I did not finish the uh, first part of that. So I'll first finish uh, that part. And of, of, of course, this part is uh, the second part of uh, my talk will be um, epidemiology. So here also, um, this part is uh, something related to epidemiology also. So what I'm going to do uh, I do not, I want to divide the human population into three groups. Uh, one is uh, common people, uh, another one is terrorist, and third one is the security person. As I mentioned, that at the time of war, we are all human people. And for some social reason, uh, some people are joining to uh, security person, and some are joining to the terrorist. And as like the predator model, there is the interaction between the common people and terrorist, and there is the interaction between terrorist and uh, and the military person. So, so you have already heard the functional response. So in that I, I in this model I use two types of functional response. Uh, when there is interaction between the terrorist and common people, there is no need to search, isn't it? So terrorist will come and kill. So there is no need to search. That's why I take the in the form of type one, in the form of mass action type. But if it takes and why is my uh, X is, suppose X my common people, Y is my terrorist, then the interaction between X and Y, I will present by uh, some constant B, X, Y. So that, that is the type one. On the other hand, when there is a, a, a interaction between the uh, terrorist and, and security personnel, because they have some uh, uh, hiding policy also, the uh, terrorist uh, uh, hiding somewhere, uh, security personnel also hiding somewhere. So there is a, some searching time required. That's why I will take the interaction to represent the interaction terms uh, between the uh, terrorist and, social, uh, and the security personnel. I use the type to personal response when there is a searching time is required. So this is the basic principles uh, of this particular model. Okay. So okay. So she is. She represents the common people, he represents the terrorist, 
and every patient the minute. So if you remember my logistic model, dx dt is equal to rx into 1 minus x over k. Is it k is the kind of capacity? So look at this situation. R a, R, Rx into 1 minus x over k. So here, sorry. So here R C okay into 1 minus x. X means here all the common people they will be limited. All are using the resources. So logistic model I, I have dx dt is equal to rx into 1 minus x over k. Similarly, I have here dx dc dt is equal to rc 1 minus c plus p plus k over k. So this is a logistic time model, isn't it? Now, as I mentioned, from the common people, a portion is joining to the genomics and another portion is joining to the uh, security person. So suppose P1 portion, P1 portion, at a rate P1, they are coming and joining as a terrorist. Okay? At a rate P2, from the C common people, at a rate P2, they are coming and joining as a military person. Okay? Now, the interaction time. The interaction between the different groups, that is the terrorist and common people, military and, and the terrorist. So, as I mentioned that for, for, for terrorist and common people, I have taken minus CT, that is the type 2, type 1, or some of this one, minus theta 1, CT, okay. And, uh, uh, and uh, similarly from, uh, uh, okay, and this is the term that represents the, the interaction between terrorist and military, I have taken the type 2 function of response here, because there is the need for searching, searching need for searching. Alpha is the searching time. Okay. Now, this term is very important. So, I am using mu is the rate at which the terrorists are converting back to a normal life. So, I have some, I still have to develop some uh, awareness of that, so that the, so that the terrorist people at a rate mu, they will join and become the, become the community. Okay, and this is the natural rate rate minus gamma is the natural. So this is the as you see that how the simple if you have the idea, okay, if you have the idea, very simple idea, logistic model, you have already done. Pre-curator interaction, you have already done. How the interaction will be going on with different functional response type one, type two, type four. Now you have the situation, you have a common people. If I have designed that. In, from, my, from your mind, you can design your, uh, to represent a particular uh, situation. You can represent uh, 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 your, uh, your idea, uh, simple, uh, uh, the form of such different situation. Okay, so I have done this. Uh, now, my thing is that what I'm trying to look in the principle is that now I'm trying to I'm look at this parameter. That if I have, because the government is spending a lot of money for the for the security, for the military purpose. We are spending a lot of money. So it isn't uh, 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 necessary to spend a lot of money, or we shall have to uh, uh, develop some other mechanism so that uh, uh, the, uh, the you know, terrorist activities can be minimized. That's my aim. Okay. So what I'm trying to do now, so this is I'm showing you some uh, numerical uh, result. Yeah. Okay. So system I'm looking in the access of the risk. That is not the risk. So we have a, we have, there is, uh, there is no harm. Now, I'm looking the whole system. I have not yet started my realization program. I have, my, New that term, which is coming back to the terrorist group. Mama, mu, there's new, uh, new was there. So I have not yet, mu is equal to zero. That is, I have not yet opened my real system program. And the con conversion rate from common man to terrorist is 10 percent. So this is my initial goal. See, uh, I have started 10. C is equal to 10, common is 10, terrorist is 2 individual, suppose, you can value it. 
and m is equal to 4 millimeter. Then I am seeing that when the conversion rate is 10 percent, in that case C increases 20 percent, commonly C increases 20 percent, T increases, and when the failure is increases 1 to 2 percent, and M decreases 50 percent. Okay. Now, I have opened my VR circle, that is M is equal to 50 percent, and the conversion rate is said of the common. Uh, the the failure is 10 percent. In that case, C increases to common failure is 300 percent, while T, that is the failure is almost lost away from your system. Now, in the conversion rate, system in the absence of medium, I'm doing that. I have not yet opened my new view equal to the VR circle, and I have not yet opened. I have just the common failure risk is 10 percent. So I'm seeing the C decreases almost 60 percent. C means only, whereas T increases 1 to 2%. Now I have started my VRS program. In that case, P is the same, P1 is the same, compartment common mental failures. In that case, C increases 200 percent and T remains uh, almost the same. Now, if I again increase my VRS program, because the new is 75 percent. And the conversion is 25 percent, the C increases 900 percent, and T decreases 30 percent. Now, the, what you observe that to control terrorism, we shall have to for realization uh, program and we shall have to develop social awareness. So, if we can, uh, the government can spend a lot of money uh, in that aspect. So, in, in such a way, uh, we can reduce uh, the terrorist activity in some way. And the people, the people, Come back to join the So this is the thing like that. So okay, if I remember well, if you remember well, in my first slide I had the Newton, I had the uh, So why I have put that slide? So 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 you have already remembered my math in DSTT is equal to RX, the math system. So, if you remember the Newton's first law, what Newton's first law was. So, the body wants set to motion, continue in straight line motion until acted upon by it. This is the Newton's first law that you know. Very yes. And Matthew's law, that is also what Matthew's law states that says that the default state of a population is not raised. Compare Newton's law with the Matthew's law. And what motion? Or exponentially grow or decline. When population do not grow or decline exponentially, it is because and external Newton's law. So Malthus law and Newton's law both are similar. We know what we know Newton's law for a long time. We also know the Malthus law for a long since seventh century. So this is the man Lindbergh who pointed out there is a similarity between. Newton's first law with that Marxist law. But we get about second law. Everything was known. Newton's law was known. Marxist law was known. Uh, but there is a similarity between Marxist law and Newton's law. To have to look the similarity, to find out this similarity, it takes about three years ago. So that's why in the beginning I asked, I, I told you that I am looking the I, from, from my student, I'm looking the dictionary, you know, from my student. These are, these are the people, uh, the vision, the, and pointed out the Jiva. He has the vision. He has that side of it. Next, remember, I have also another two, two figures who are there. So that figure was Kamiji, uh, and another figure was Goldberg, uh, who received the Nobel Prize. So basically, what steam theory actually means? So we had a steam theory basically try to commensurate the theory of relativity and the quantum quantum mechanics. So to find a common explanation of electromagnetic force and the strong and weak acceleration force and energy. This is basically what to do. So, uh, relativity tells 
how and why planets or which stars and how those stars are being in the Milky Way. And so relativity makes prediction which can be seen and verified by our hands. On the other hand, quantum mechanics explain the wall of time. Tiny. It tells us the, uh, the description of atoms, electrons, quarks, and how they interact with each So these are the three. And still can try to have a, have a common explanation between the theory of relativity and, and, and the quantum mechanics. So, can you explain black hole? Black hole contains mass, as you know, massive mass, and so is that not even light can escape from this gravity. But we are. This part will be basically on some uh, epidemiology models. I will mainly focus on uh, daily time. So, before moving to the specific problems on daily, I will give you some 
then okay, so activate from this is the recruitment here and I have to make this from the recruitment of part of the part. I will use this for the part. There is an improvement of the system. This is the data. Right. Similarly, activate data from this population into the by population and I Here we go to the sound line and the data and we do hard work. So, DSPT is equal to new, aggregate new, constant is new. Now, similarly, minus beta is, which is coming, I dash t is equal to beta is, and this is in moving from I class to R class or Y, and this is the data set new, new s, new i, and new r. This is the data set new. So, as you see that from C to this I am not some model, some treatment model. You can take it back on the local, this model looks like this. So, this is the question. Now, I am taking the unknown relaxation. The adaptation that the unknown is to be covered. For example, in here. So, in that case, what will be? So again, this is the recruitment. I have a bar communication from S to I, apparently, similar to my other guys. From I, they are recovered and joined to the again susceptible class, and this is the uh, uh, recovered and there. So, uh, so this model is this I model comma. Minus beta is, this is coming here. So they are equal to what? I class, and they are joining to the susceptible class, which is class alpha i, and this is this is induced mortality, and this is the natural death. And you is also the natural. So this is we call the SIR model. So we go on and try to the susceptible class function. That is SIR model. In case of like influenza model. If you want to do that influenza type model, you will have to take into account this sort of model that is a size type model. Okay. Now I am taking the exposed part now. Okay, so that is what is the the period. So, so we have to do something in case of COVID. So we are getting the symptoms after some time. But we have already exposed. We have we have that disease in our we can spread, but we are not. Uh, we don't know the brother I have that disease. So this is the exposure. So I have taken it. Uh, now considering the Asia now, the time between which an individual is infected, you are infected, but not infectious is all the latent period. As an individual confirmed, and the latent period is generally denoted by E class. The period between infection and onset of symptoms. You have the infection, but the symptom has not yet arrived. Onset of infection is known as incubation period for a patient. This incubation period is different from, from disease to disease. As for example, uh, incubation period of influenza is one day longer than the latent period. Okay, so now I'm taking. So this is the recruitment rate, okay, either by bar or by susceptible. Okay. Then they are exposed at a rate beta minus beta is a If you ask me, I don't have the exposed class. E class I don't have. From S, I have I class. Now I'm taking into account the exposed class. So they are now exposed. So minus beta is i, they are joining to your exposed class, beta is i. Okay, so mu is the all new one they take. The all new from natural they take. S, E, uh, I, R. This is the natural they So from exposed class, at a rate K, you are joining to your <coughs> infected class. So at a rate K, you are joining to your, to your infected class. And this is, you are, you are now recovered at a rate alpha. And you are joining to your recovered class that is R dash is equal to alpha. Now all means are there. So as you see that how the different types of models are found. So I started with SIR, then I'm taking 
मैक्सिमम होता है एक्सिमम भल होता है या भल उसका बेस देना चाहिए तो इन दैट केस द रेशियो इज फॉर सम नंबर इज आर गिवन टू द इफ दिस टर्म इज ग्रेटर देन 0 देन ग्रेटर देन 1 देन द रेशियो इज पॉजिटिव इफ दिस टर्म इज लेस देन 1 So these are the simple basic things to deal with any epidemic in the world. You have to formulate in that structure, look at the disease, and try to see that how we can model that. Then find your equilibrium point, disease peak, you be able to solve the equilibrium equation. Then you can you find your uh, basic equilibrium ratio you know, uh, in using the next generation factors. Many methods are available now. But most of the people are using the next generation methods. So you can find out your next by archive by using next generation methods. So these are the basic fundamental things of uh, epidemiological model. But now move to a specific problem of the uh, daily model. How we can we how we can uh, uh, go for with the uh, daily models? Okay. Oh, this is another one. So if if there is a vaccinated class. So how how that model? So there is a vaccination. Suppose we hmm, we, we are not as for example for COVID we have now vaccine. So we are joining to the vaccinated class. So how we can model that sort of thing? So again, so this is my S class, associate class. This is my vaccinated class, and this is my I I am committed to this type model with vaccine. You can do it. ACI, ACI model in vaccine. If I do, so this is the I have taken case ACI model with vaccine. So this is the recruitment again, and some so proportion of individuals who recover to the vaccinated class. So from I, they are recover. Okay, so this the, the, when they are recover. Proportion of individuals who recover to the susceptible class. So you have vaccinated. Now you have recovered. So you will join your susceptible class because first dose, second dose, why you are doing? So you are vaccinated. But the vaccination has that advantage. So it belongs. It may not do not belong for it. It not do not give you the permanent immunity. So you will join to a susceptible class and you will again be infected if if you have. But you have. The vaccinated class. Also. So, if I model this one, this model will look like this. So, I have a susceptible class recruitment, and this is the coming from here. And so, this portion. So, when the vaccinated one, some portion, one minus x gamma y, they are joining to a susceptible class. So, these are the so you can find out the basic equilibrium ratio. In using the next generation method approach, and you can find you can find the whole the data. So, so how in the vaccination vaccinated class, if you incorporate how you can model this? This is just uh, one example of that. So okay. So now I am moving a specific example uh, of the dengue uh, model. So I think you know very well the dengue. Dengue is basically coming from a Aedes mosquito, isn't it? When so we have four types of serotypes is there. One is Gen one, Gen two, Gen three, and Gen four. So if I am infected with Gen one, I I have the immunity on on Gen one, but I can be infected with Gen two type. So there are four types of four serotypes are there. So if you if you, if you are immune with Gen one. But it may not be immune to Gen two, Gen three, or Gen four. So, so many cases, as you know, that uh, so many cases are coming. Uh, the Delhi is common in many areas, as for example, Pondicherry, uh, uh, Delhi, Nagar Delhi, Delhi, and Calcutta also. So, symptoms is high fever, headache, muscle and joint pain, rash, rash also. So, there is no specific treatment of Delhi fever so far. And nearly 3.9 billion people in 120 countries have the risk of infection. So there are many reports on Delhi. Uh, so these are also the, the as for example between 1990 to 2015 there was uh, 2015 uh, 2060 outbreaks of Delhi, of which India 
we had uh, 58 out of, out of 260. And one, one, two of this opened after 2012. And many people are affected with that. Okay. So these are also the, uh, some incidents, the highest incidents uh, reported by Pondicherry, followed by Dadra Nagadali and Delhi. So these are the, some reported cases. So these are the basic situation of Delhi. So what we are, what I am trying to do, the first part of my talk, I shall try to see in two ways. One is uh, uh, control, how I can look the control aspect, and how I can see the dynamics. Okay. So, as, so for control aspect, I take into account the active case finding. Control in special cell. So active case finding, so I, it is a new term to everybody. And actually, active case finding was not uh, uh, very much popular in, in, in detecting the daily. But it was very, it, it is popular for 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 fever pitch. Our government is spending a lot of money uh, for active spine for detected tuberculosis. But government is not paying a single price for active spine for daily daily life. So here I will show you that if we can put the idea of active spine in idea and how if you reduce the burden of the daily dynamic, that is my one aim. So with this active finding has been started uh, uh, in, yeah. in India, not, not only in India, it's in other And only I have gone through only two research articles I have come close so far on, on active finding. So this is uh, the if you scan our article is the third article all over the world who so have taken it about the active. So, and in the second aspect, I uh, want to see the daily dynamics. As in my first lecture, I talked about the daily Many times I talked about the daily. So, how the fractional difference in equation model uh, will take into account to represent the daily dynamics. That will be another one part of the talk. Okay. So, basically, now the basic thing is that now we have a daily. We are considering daily. So what is that? We have a host. We are a host. So and so human population and the vector. Vector is mosquito. Mosquito. So because the is coming from mosquito. Mosquito to interaction between mosquito and human. So I still have to model on human population as well as mosquito. So look at so I have a susceptible human, I have an infected human, I have a recovery. Okay? Yes, I am not. Similarly, I have a susceptible mosquito, I have infected mosquito. I have not been taken into account the recovery. Because the lifespan of mosquito is maximum 15 days. So, no need to take into account the, the recovery mosquito population. So, now the interaction. So interaction means when there is, so I have infected with the dengue, okay? And susceptible mosquito, the mosquito is not infected. When that susceptible mosquito bites me, it took the jam from me because I am infected with dengue. I was infected. And then it will bite to you. Then you will be. This is the way of transmission, how the transmission is going on. Okay. So, infected mosquito have an interaction with susceptible human, is it? And that susceptible human is infected, and that infected human, infected human, that's infected human when there is an interaction with susceptible mosquito. This is susceptible mosquito. When this susceptible mosquito bites, 
the infected one, he has the infection, and that susceptible mosquito is being infected, isn't it? And that infected, when that infected mosquito when bites any susceptible man, then that will be infected. So this is going on, and they will recover the shadow. Understand? How the unit is transmitted and going on is clear because all things, all my lectures will be written on that. Is it clear, everybody? So, this is the basic dynamics to represent the thing. Okay. As I mentioned, that Active case finding is not very common in baby. What is that? Active case finding is that. So I know, I know, I know that this area, I have the previous data. I know this is the area where every year the many victims are being infected. So what I have to do, I will make a survey of that particular area because the baby, as you know, that it is nearly uh, uh, transmitted, mainly propagated in that time of babies. Because the mosquito population will go with it. So you will move to that area and see that whether you have to have a symptom or you don't have a symptom. The people who don't have a symptom we call it's an asymptotic asymptotic time. And the people who have a symptom we are called it's an infected. So, so I will now try if I can find out both because my target is if you are, are uninfected, if my case is severe, I will directly move to the hospital. My relative, my patients will take will take me to the hospital. Okay. So, at that case, I will be isolated. And for me, no, no one will be in the classroom. On the other hand, if I have an asymptomatic, if, if I am asymptomatic, I, I, I have the ability to transmit the disease. So, I will not go to the hospital. So, if, if we can recruit the people who have the idea that this, we can identify. We have some cases. Maybe this is that one case. So on that particular area, I'll move and I'll see that who are infected and who had the symptom. If I can isolate those asymptomatic class from that particular region, that more than 90% disease burden will reduce. I'll show you some of the, the mathematical model as well as the, the data set I'll show you. That if I can find out that asymptotic class, that is, I'm calling the active case finding. This is what it is. So, active case finding is why active case finding, I think, to understand. This will fill the data gaps for caused by under reporting. These are these cases with the people who are asymptotic, that is not reported. That is under reporting. So, you can fill the gap of that under reporting. That is one. Good aspect. Another one is early detection or prevention of secondary. You can do that. So these are two basic uh, uh, basic principle or basic advantage uh, for having in the active Okay. Oh, that I mentioned that only uh, only two reports that have come. One is from this in 2008, and Delhi people in Delhi there is. This is not a model also. In Delhi, they have surveyed in some area and they have kind of they observed that sort of thing. Only two reports so far I have come across on two applicants finding for the thing. Okay, now they yeah, are looking very complicated, isn't it? Okay, don't worry. So it looks complicated, of course. So now I am trying to formulate the uh, AD model. How? So, susceptible one. So I have two classes. 
the susceptible yes, area, we are all susceptible. In that susceptible also, I am a little bit prone, but I, I, I don't have that sort of immunity. But Professor Jamal is a little bit stout and he has uh, a little bit uh, uh, immunity more. So that's why I divide the uh, uh, susceptible class into two groups. So the people who have the immunity, more immunity, the people who don't have that sort of immunity. So I divide the uh, susceptible class into two groups, SH1 and SH2. Okay. And this is my vector one. If you remember, susceptible vector, mosquito. And they are exposed, if you remember SCIR and all So exposed and coming. And this is in here. Okay. So human population, I have the susceptible class, I have two groups. One is SH1 and one is SH2. Okay. And I have exposed human. How they are exposed? How they are exposed? Mm -hmm. So they are exposed when there is an interaction. If you remember, when there is an interaction with the infected vector, infected mosquito, with the SH2, the people who have the immunity, SH2, then they will be exposed. Similarly, when that infected vector have an interaction with SH2, SH1, they will be exposed and they are coming. Okay? So now, my exposed class has full interaction with infected vector, infected mosquitoes. Okay? Now, from that exposed class, you may go exposed class, you are exposed. So, either you have a symptoms or you don't have a symptoms. If you have a symptoms, then at a rate rho, 1 minus rho, you are moving to infected class. And if you don't have a symptom at a rate rho, you are moving to a asymptomatic rho. Okay. Now, P, H is my hospital. So when I have a detection, I have a asymptomatic. But after some times, it will be my symptoms will come from the asymptomatic. So, I, so from asymptomatic, no symptom. Asymptomatic, I through active case finding, I, I know some case. Through active case finding, I found, yes, Professor Jamal is asymptomatic. So I will move him, I will move that the people who have the asymptomatic, they will move at a rate P1 to the hospital. Similarly, at a rate P2, the people who have infected, they know infected. They will generate so P2 is the rate P2 is much higher than P1 because P2 is infected one. You know you are infected, you will go to the hospital or you are related with the A to the hospital. But the asymptomatic class that will be detected by some people and they will know. So, so my two parameters very important P1 and P2. I'll play with these two parameters in my models with my analysis as well as for my uh, data analysis. So, okay. So, and they will be recovered. Some will be recovered. From two, some people are in hospital. So, they will be reco recovered at a rate Q1 and join your recovered class. Similarly, the asymptomatic people either join to the hospital or they, after some time, they will be recovered and they will join to your this class. So, how the susceptible vector, now this is whole complete about my human population. How I divide the human population into various compartments, I think you understand. And now, look at the vector population. So, the susceptible vector, this is the recruitment. The susceptible vector, how they will be exposed. So, when they will be exposed, when they have an interaction with the infected human, or they have an interaction with the asymptomatic because the asymptomatic people have the, have, have the disease. Similarly, infected people also have the disease. So when there is an interaction between the susceptible vector that the mosquito have interaction with the infected one or the asymptomatic one, they will be exposed and they will be after and exposed. And then when they have an interaction with 
the susceptible human and the good thing is the bad thing. So this is the way to formulate this is my schematic diagram. If you understand this schematic diagram, you can now easily write down. Uh, so we say seven plus three. That is the k times. Okay. So as in, so this one at a rate me new they put it and now. So they had an interaction with the susceptible, uh, susceptible vector with the infected one. Susceptible vector with the infected one, they will be exposed. And there is an interaction with susceptible vector with the asymptomatic one, they will be exposed. So this will, this will come here. And new is the thing. New is the thing. Now from the exposed class, at the rate gamma one, you will join your so this this three equation from my paper and they are joined to your now look to the human population so at the recruitment is r5 weeks at the time now there is an interaction between infected vector with the asexual neuron in low immediately okay and now this is also recruitment of the Low immunity, one minus R immunity, and there is an interaction between the infected vector mosquito with the susceptible one, so, and they, these two things will join in your exposed class. And Q is the data, Q is the data, and accurate gamma, similarly, here, accurate gamma, you are moving so one portion, accurate row, you are moving so from the exposed class to where you are moving, from this, do you remember my estimate? From the exposed class to the moving to the asymptomatic class or moving to the infected class. So, at a rate low, you are moving to your asymptomatic class, at a rate 1 minus low, you are moving to your infected class. Isn't it? Okay. So, we which is a day okay, for me, and Q1, you are recovered. Okay. Then, how do you You are recovered and you are joining your class. Similarly, Q2 is here, you are recovered and you are joining the recovery. And DH is the hospital. So either so from asymptomatic, you are joining, you are at a rate P1, you are going to a hospital. At a rate P2, you are joining to hospital and you are recovered. This one and you are joining. So this is the, the very complicated. You look my schematic capital. So, when you are going to try to your mathematical model, first of all, in epidemics, we should try, we should try to write on the schematic map. Or in which case, so that is the way to represent the epidemiological model. For, for ecological model, I have two dimensional three dimensional. I can I can see, I can write on two dimensional. But for epidemics, because you have many components. So if you can, first of all, it's better to write on the screen that the first. Then you go for your plan, as I did here. So I first write up the, how the disease is operating. Then if you can, if you have the schematic target, you can easily write on this map. So here I am trying to do now. So accurate P1 is asymptomatic and accurate P2 is symptomatic. So remember P2. P2 is the symptomatic. At a rate P2 symptomatic and at a rate P1 is the acidic. So then they are moving from hospitalized, they are moving at a rate from symptomatic at a rate P2 from asymptomatic at a rate. Okay. So now what I'm trying to do, as, as usual, I found, as I mentioned that in every epidemic, you have to find out this is P2. So I find out that this is P2 and and again the same. Principal next generation matrix support, A and B. So, A being last, it will give you the receiving product ratio. So, in this way, I found out the receiving product ratio. So, this will give you the way that the receiving product passes better than one or this will not pass. Okay. So, these are the data set we have. 
Kerala, Delhi, Gujarat, West Bengal. So this are the model field. The, these are the data points, and this is my model simulation. And this is the, the thicken line is the confidence number. So more or less, as you see that model is more or less beginning. There are some, of course, out there is there. And this is Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, and So now two terms as I mentioned before, one is P2 and P1. Now, as you see, that this is my see, this is my P2. Can you see here? This is P2. Yeah. This is P2. Yeah. It's not P2. I think P2. Yes, yes, it is bigger. Yeah. So now I so I have used that for the eight stages. Okay, I am very increasing 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So most of the cases as you see that it the, the average case, I'm going to the average case, how many cases have been used? So most of the cases I've seen that nearly 90% cases. Of course, that's P2 is P2 is your symptom for most people because if you have a symptom, you will go to the hospital. So, in that case, most of the cases will be needed. 90% cases will be needed. On the other hand, P1, they are, they are not going to that hospital. You have, you are doing, you are, because these people, the government is recruited some people, they are forcing you, they have detected it to have a symptom. And they are they are forcing you to move to In that case also, P1 also, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0.1, in most of the cases, as you see that more than more than 60% of our cases is that which are reduced through their application. So as you see that uh, not only the Symptomatic one, if we can introduce the active case finding for the dengue, it has, as I mentioned, it has not yet been implemented in our country. So that, that, the, the, the number of dengue cases could be reduced a lot. I have shown from the uh, data set of the from our eight states of our country. Okay. Now more medical. As I mentioned that okay, my second talk will be a little bit uh, technical and little bit difficult. But I'm trying to give you in my, my best way to represent that. So this is a and uh, you can talk about the meta population. So it is basically one sort of special ones. I'm not considered the partial differences here. So it is, it, uh, uh, I partition in all in, in different batches. I can partition all, all the region into different batches and try to see that's how uh, in a special setting, uh, how we can reduce. So one thing is that, what is my idea? Why I'm interested? To do some model and to represent the daily time. So basically, uh, my plan is something like that. So I have, I will show you the data set. I have the daily cases in Calcutta, for Calcutta municipal corporation, they have 131 wards. Different wards we have. So 131 wards now. So, I divide this 141 watts into different groups. Some, some parts will be known. That 141 watts, one will be sent out, some part. Some watts will be known, always. So, I divide through, so there's a software, of course, GIS software, as you know, QGIS software. Through so that, you can 
we use that software and we, we, you can divide your VGFT to divide in different parts. Okay, I do that. Then, my aim is that I will not apply my control to design for the different sort of space we are using. Uh, that is pure uh, display. Some smokes we are we are studying. So my control, I will not apply my control to. So suppose I divide my one to one into five five meters. I want to apply the controls only in two regions. I will not apply the controls in whole region. I will apply my control in only in two regions. And want to see the effect of the other. That's my aim. So why then you ask so why you are doing the special set? The question will come. Yes, yeah, special setting is come. It's here. Why? Uh, so the principle is that I am now at that inversion. Okay. My residence is in Chaka. So I will, after my talk, I will move to Chaka. Okay. So I am here I am infected. Or suppose I am infected in Chaka. That's my residence. I am infected in Chaka. And I am asymptomatic. I came the university. And the university, some mosquito bites me and he takes that jump from me and he bites Professor Jam. So Professor Jaman. So I have moved. They are laughing at every time Professor Jamal is in Pepe. Professor <laughs> Okay, that's true. So, so, in, so, so this is the migration, isn't it? I, I was at Chatlan. I came here and I spread the disease. So I have a movement, migration, isn't it? That's why the special setting, so I have divided the whole region into eight beds. So either in fact, mosquito cannot fly a long distance, but human can for for any for for many purposes for their job for marketing they are moving they are there. So they are spreading. So they so so two one is from their own resident and from other 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 part. So in this way, that disease will spread. So that's why it's, uh, I'm taking into account the special setting here. Number one. Number two, I will take the interaction a gravity like function. Gravity like function, you know, that it is proportional to the uh, human and inverse mass, inversely in proportional to the distance. Gravity is m1 m2 over r square. So I use that. To, to replace the dynamics, I use the gravity like Okay, so this is the basic principle what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so the, the interested peoples may read these two articles for metapopulation dynamics. One is living, another one is area. So, so I space is divided into discrete region that is back, connected to human migration. You understand now that why the human migration I consider. Okay, so I have susceptible human, I have exposed human, same principle, susceptible human, exposed human, from exposed, either you will be going to infected class, high class, or you will be asymptomatic one, so S, E, I, K, and then you go. So this is my human population. Similarly, for vector mosquito, I have a susceptible mosquito, I have a infected mosquito. Okay, yeah. Now this is the recruitment. Okay. 
now how the susceptible mosquito interact with infected one the susceptible mosquito have a interaction with infected one that is from his own bat own own resident it is own resident infected mosquito bites the susceptible one so from its own resident at a red bia and this is from other resident other resident you are far from your resident so this that why i have taken the gravity light from that is which is the intensity is measured by gravity light function which is proportional to human population in night patch as well as in day patch and the distance of between i and j and i'll pass the exponent okay so this is coming and joining to your so you are being exposed so this whole term is coming here now at a rate row from exposed you are joining at a rate row here in this row and at a rate one minus row your asymptotic for same same thing what i have in my previous one so from, from sigma is so at a rate row here are coming and one minus row here are coming now this is my take view this all is a natural wave and this gamma is recovered this is coming here and this is also recovered and this is coming here and this is the natural so you have your human body okay now you have a your mosquito a mosquito this is a report okay now that mosquito have a interaction again in the residence they have we have mosquito we have some infected so now this is within the patch this is all this they will be infected either uh, either through infected human or through exposed human or through asymptomatic this is within that we will outside the batch remaining batches again follow the gravity like function that is here and again with infected one with exposed one and with asymptomatic one so they are all joining and this is the result so this is the way so i have little, i have the idea what i'm going to do so this is basic principles you have to know that how the mosquito i got they will bite in one patch in one resident or they when i am infected i'm going to my work there yeah the susceptible mosquito will bite me and they will spread so this is the way that this is propagation is going on okay so this is the simple mathematical model which i have developed okay as i mentioned now i have one hot one was so i divided that one hot one was into five bits this is my center this is my east this is my north this is my east this is my west and this is my south so i have r1 r2 r3 r4 okay so depending on the geographical location that 141 watts grouped into five digit okay you do it this is the data set with the uh, more this is my model and this is the data set okay not interesting okay now i use three types of spray one is this is my condo one is eulb spray which efficacy is 90% and persistence is one day Treated surface. This is the treated surface. 
efficacy is 25 percent and environmental persistence is 180. Lethal ovitra, which is black in color, are filled with water and very small amount of lethal substance which will kill the mosquito. So this is the three way three types of control we use for killing the mosquito. These are the control. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, that I don't want to use my control in five minutes. I want to use my control in one or two regions and I want to see the effect of that control in other That's my so how what I do. So I will try to find out that, uh, that where the case fraction is greater than population. So how I can calculate the case fraction? So I have different region, five region I have. I know how many people are infected in region one. I have the data. I know how many people are infected in five region. Case fraction means, suppose I know R1. So R1 divided by summation of R. Now, how many infected people in, in, in particular patch? R1. I know how many people are infected. Divided by how many people are infected in whole region. That will give me the case. Population fraction. I know how many people are in the R1. And I know how many people in the 141. So R1 by summation of Ri will be the population. So now I can calculate the case fraction and population. So the case fraction, where the case fraction is greater than the population fraction, I use the control of that region. I not use the control of other. So from this five region, I found from that data set, I found, you should see, the case fraction is 0 0.172. Population fraction is one one. So it is better than case fraction is better than population fraction. Other no. No. And region 5, 0 0.386, 0 0.19. So case fraction is better than population fraction. So I use to control only region 3 and region 5. Okay? So I use the control on that. This is not too much cases. Okay. So I found, on, so I'm using region 3 and region 5. So this is my region 3. So it has been reduced from other region. So it has been 2.5%, 3.5%, and 3.8%. So, so I'm, what I'm telling you, so I have three controls. Three types of controls, C1, C2, and C3. So I use only C1, only C2, only C3. Then I have a combination C1 plus C2, C1 plus C3, C2 plus C3, and then C1 plus C2 plus C3. And this. So, in every case, I'm saying that a considerable, as you see, that is, this is the only C1, this is the only C2. Use control only up here and up there, and it has been reduced, other region. Only C3. Reduce, reduce. Now I'm giving the condition C1 plus C2. Now this has been reduced. This has been reduced. C2 plus C2. This has also been reduced. Of course, if you use the three types of control, C1 plus C2 plus C2, that will reduce a lot. Because you will use three controls uh, at a time on that. So that will reduce a lot. So uh, this clearly basis that there is no need. There is no need to use the control in every region. If you can't find out from your data set, the case fraction, where the case fraction is greater than population factor, and use the control only those two regions, a considerable number of daily cases to be reduced. So this is one aspect. So I first of all I spoke about that case finding is one aspect. Then the special setting, uh, how we can use the control. Uh, because that will reduce a lot of money. So I, if you use the control, the whole 
for the city. It, it, it will take a lot of money, and we don't, don't have that sort of mentor. So, if you can identify the region uh, where the case person is getting up to the and if you can do it throughout the year, not only these times, definitely reduce the number of cases. Not only true for only the daily cases, it is very true for other cases. The same methods can be used for other cases. So this is uh, the way uh, uh, to, to, to have to do the mathematics and to have the uh, application of mathematics uh, uh, for the benefit of us. Okay, so the last part I talked about the memory part. How the memory? Yeah. Mosquito also has the memory. I do not know whether you have the experience. Mosquito. Have you ever tried a mosquito? Everybody, no? So mosquito, they do not generally bite. Do not generally bite in this place. In this place. I can They generally bite in some places. Well, we, we, we don't have any access. Isn't it? And also, look this one. And also, if you can see that the, I, I, the adult one I am and the child one, so they will bite the child more. So, and there are so many experiments that have been done. So many experiments that the mosquito has done. This is not my work. Biological experiments, many experiments have done that mosquito have the memory. I do not know whether that. <coughs> whether I have that experience or whether. Yes. These are the papers. Read. Learning and memory of disease vectors. Another is why, as I told you. Why are some people bitten more than others? So, a lot of experiment, a lot of experiment the people have done. Um, okay, so I'm trying to see that. How the daily dynamics by taking into account the uh, memory part, how the daily dynamics look like. So, basic is uh, just remember one thing if R0 basic epidemiological theory, so far we have learned, R0 is less than 1, disease will not pass through. If R0 is greater than 1, disease will not pass through. Is it true? We take it about the memory in the form of external people in theater. That's that's my name. This is here. Okay. So fractional differential equation. I will use two or three slides uh, of the benefit of the student. The how the fractional differential equation here. So, La Hospital, there is a story. La Hospital asked Limit, what will be the outcome if L in half? Okay. Limit replied, it will lead to a balance in 1695. He also added, from this apparent paradox, one day you should 
on consider say will be drawn. Parat, the 13th September 1695 is the birthday of Axel. So how is 20, 224 years spent since last year has raised the question in fact. Okay, so this is a French mathematician, SF Blackridge, started with quite a slow text in Okay, but then is a positivity. That if you take the event derivative is, this is the event derivative, what, n factor into n minus 1 factor x2 factor n minus 1. Okay. Now, using the derivative, the result of symbol, comma, we denote the generalized fractional and replace m by half, n equal to half, m by half, and n by any positive real number, say a, we obtain d half y ds half. Is equal to gamma. This is the polynomial a plus one, a plus one, the x to the power a minus one over. So this expression the derivative of arbitrary order half of the function a to the power a. Okay. And let us give the example what is equal to x. And here obtain this one. The half x dx2 is equal to 2 to x over 5. This result is the same given by the present year remaining degree depends on our So this is the basic history how the fractional calculus came into the picture. Okay. So there is a book I, I just removed some hints. Okay. So if you're interested, you can have a run how the development happened. I just give you a, a little bit hints on that. Okay, so so far for fractional calculus, we have to either most of the people are using uh, linear variable derivative or the people are using capital in the sense of capital. So most of the people are in the like to work with capital because in capital derivative you can. The derivative of a constant is zero, and we can properly define the initial condition for the fractional difference equation so that they can be handled analogously to the classical integrals. And leave it also, maybe it good to be applied to be used in the form of in the, in the sense of that. Okay, so I'm not going to the detail, but this is open for. Physical meaning of fractional calculus. So I'm uh, many times I'm I'm reading that it will represent the memory. But the uh, physical meaning is still not clear. The people are working, many basically the physics people are working on that. So a lot of paper is done, so I'm not going to discuss all this the physical meaning of there is no this are the uh, thing that the people are trying to. Get some idea of what is the physical way of fractional equation. Okay, so I'm giving a very serious opinion. The people who are working fractional differential equation. What I found, and I will show you, that if I had an ordinary differential equation model, I have all, as you see that since morning, I am giving the ordinary differential equation either in ecology or in So most of the people, I have a model, this I have a model. So they are, so I have a dx dt is equal to function of x y. Dy dt is in the function of dxy and dz dt is in the function of dxy. I remember, I have that. I have all this. What you are trying to do, so you are writing d alpha x, 
dt alpha is equal to function of ratio f x y minus y. So to take the fraction of, of, of that only in one and to the power. So I show you very soon that this is not the because many papers have only found this is not the right way to deal with the fraction of function. So this is the general mistake. If I get a model with integer or a derivative, my first job is to replace those with fractional. I do not bother about the dimension, physical meaning, and the real motivation for science. That's the basic drawback. The people who are taking the model from integer or two. Let's see that what is the problem. How we can resolve this. Okay. Again, this is my daily model again. No, not my model. This. The first model on daily came in the year 2011. This is the first one of daily. By course. First attempt. Then What he did, who actually did first attempt to fractionalize the dengue or pneumonia? The modification is so, whose model was so? Forget about alpha, forget about means beta is here. Okay, so alpha and gamma is here. Okay, so in push model, he has the only this one, d alpha. Okay, and this he has not changed this part. So this is the dengue model. This is the human population. I, I don't I don't want to discuss this. This is the human one. They have an interaction with this is coming here and this is the mosquito one and when they have an interaction with the susceptible with the susceptible mosquito with the infected hi then they have infected and they are joined this is just a simple way simple model for daily model forget about the model i'm not interested with the model now i'm interested with that how use the fractional equation so first who did you know he did not take into account any alpha toda or gamma toda in the right hand. He only changed, he only take into account the alpha toda or gamma toda in the left hand. So question here. So if you have alpha toda here in the left hand side, the dimension is time to power minus alpha. The left hand side is time d alpha l dt alpha. So dimension is time to the minus alpha. On the right hand side, you have only the time. The time to the minus one. Isn't it? So there is a dimension mismatch. So to overcome this, this mismatch, that guy dh man, what he did, he did the alpha dollar as well as nama dollar on both sides. Take the parameter. Every parameter. So there is no dimension mismatch. But it is a complementary model, isn't it? Then the, if, it, if it is not a complementary model, it's okay. But when there is a complementary model, because you have a human component, you have a mosquito component. And there is the interaction from one component to other. So if you have an alpha order here and you are interacting with another one order there, another component. And the component to model is primary. So
that I mentioned that infected human is what? Dimension is time to be what? Minus one. And he is interacted with susceptible mosquito with time to be minus one. And they produce a newly infected mosquito of which dimension is time to be minus one. So, in proper mental model, one degree. So, an outgoing mass, which is a rate of some fractional order, appears as an incoming mass to another compartment as a rate of different fractional order. That is not allowed. So, in compartment, we just check the alpha, the order from right hand side and also the left hand side, same order of the same kind of compartment model, the kind of Okay, so to avoid dimension mismatch, each rate, what it did, each rate parameter is transformed to other custom fractional order. Our recruitment of new bonds and mortality are random process and should not have a fraction over time. Recruitment, mortality, has no memory. So you cannot do it. So it is impossible to fractionalize multi-compartment system by simply changing the inferior order derivative to fractional order in the right hand side, left hand side of the system. One paper came in the Journal of Thermokinetics. Where did we ask to get a proof? How we can work in this world? So I used that paper, Journal of Thermokinetics. So what I am telling you now? How? So I do understand that there is the people are doing the wrong life. So, how I can resolve this sort of issue in a compartment model? What I'm trying to do, I integrate the ordinary difference in equation. If I integrate the ordinary difference in equation, I will get a system of integral Now, if I fractionalize the integral by using a power law of kernel, and we will see that. Okay? I am in the middle. That I get. That I get. So I get the origin, I get the integral equation. Then I use the fractional right. I use the integral using the power of bundle and hence my RL. Okay, the problem is not yet solved. Right? I have RL. Now I use some adjustment. These are is equal to one, and the force vector and vector of stances and power similar value is equal to zero less than alpha less than equal to one. So the new model with memory effect in the transmission, I have. I have now the fractional derivative in the right hand side of each equation. This is in the R because I have converted this into R in the R in the form of R. The type to finite type simple type equal to zero, which are next the system FRA to infinity. So it is not yet defined. Still, I do have problem. So, what I try to do now. So, as you know, the important drawbacks to this in RL is scattered first initial condition and RL derivative of constant is not. So, that is the main problem for RL. Somehow, I shall have to. From RL to capital, I said, there is one relation from RL to capital. This is the relation from RL to capital. Relation between RL to capital. I use this relation. Now, if I use this relation, the singularity problem which I had before in the RL case, that is not a right. So I have now it. So I don't have, now I don't have any problem. Now you can use the user group of the bridge and I use, we are interested to the believer for t goes to infinity, but I use that I have used this transformation. Okay, so I have person that does not satisfy the infinity goal, we cannot infer the statement of the system directly from the system. As I can do it, I use that this transformation. And now I have, so I started with four dimensional equation. When I use this one, this transformation. I have system of 
Now, it's like as you can see, I look at your for particular case, uh, you have it here in one. one. Another one thing that we assume that this is relation because we don't have there is no method if your alpha is irrational or complex. Okay. So far, we don't have any method to analyze this. So that's why we assume that my alpha is the same. So we have this theorem. And ultimately, we have the characteristic equation. And from here, if one can say it, I spoke about the, the, the basic product in this case. So the interesting thing is that, that now we can compare. So for alpha is equal to one, so alpha is equal to one, your, this is the classical basic product of number. And for alpha belongs to the one, when we have a custom representation, we have this one. So this dimension is time to input minus one by r. So r zero, r zero, or r zero is the dimension is one. But as you see, for fractional representation, r zero is not the dimension is one. It has the dimension of time. And for, for alpha is equal to half, we have explicit condition to do hash for that those system of equation. So this is my last one. So if you remember that when I told about that if R in, in, uh, in classical epidemiological theory, if R0 is less than one, that this is not sparsely. If R0 is greater than one, that this is sparsely. But here, as you see, that this is here, red is here. This is R. This, this is my R0 equal to 1. Okay. This is my stable region. And this is my oscillated region. So this portion, as you see, this portion is R0 less than 1. But the disease pass. And this, this portion, actually, R0 less, R0 less, this portion, this, the, R0 greater than 1, but this is free to test. So the basic theory which you have for the classical epidemiological theory is that R0 uh, is not true for the fractional Okay, so this is my. Thank you very much. participants also you see from tomorrow onwards uh, this uh, um, lectures will be all online uh, so timing will be of course from uh, 10 30 to 12 and then 2 30 to 4 but then with one exception i think you have seen the uh, program schedule it is uh, uh, one speaker from University of Florida, because of time difference, uh, we made it from uh, 5 to 6.30. Uh, that will be, it is mentioned, I think it is on 25th. 
okay and rest of the lecture should be as usual from 10:30 to 12 and then 2:30 to 5 2:30 to 4 okay thank you thank you for coming uh, thank you everyone and whenever you have time please join you have the schedule with you you can join online thank you all so see you tomorrow hello hello hello